Hi everyone, this is Wemaster DS again, and I'm going to show you how to upgrade your PSP firmware from 1.5 to 3.9 M33 Update 2. I have just downgraded this PSP using the Detail Tool battery, which you can see on another of my videos, and as you can see, it now has System Software version 1.5. Now before you install 3.90 M33 Update 2 on your PSP, you will need to install other custom firmwares because the firmware on there at the moment, which is the official firmware 1.5, which I just showed you, that is doesn't recognize the installer for 3.90. So first of all, you will need to install 3.52 M33, which is on this um, website which I have provided the link for on my video description. It's psphacks.com. Just scroll down the web page then find the 3.52 M33 link, not the M332 link or any of the others, just click on the 3.52 M33 link, it'll take you to this web page, scroll down and click on the download link, and you can either open with WinRAR or save it to disk, I'll just open it, you do need WinRAR to open it though, and then this will pop up, click close, Double click on the 3.52 M33 folder and then double click on the readme.en link. This will pop up. This is all the instructions you need to follow in order to install 3.52 M33 onto your PSP. Now I'll go through each instruction and I'll show you how to install it. Now first of all it says if you are under official 1.5 PSP firmware, which I, we are, copy X K exploit patcher and K exploit patcher percent folders from 1.5 only of this download to your MS0 PSP game and use it. So first of all we will need to put our PSP into USB mode. Okay so we'll connect our um, USB cable into the PSP and then we'll go to USB connection press the X button and it's now in USB mode OK, now I've put our PSP in USB mode, we can follow the step. Now before you can do anything else, you must format your memory stick from the files that were put on it when you downgraded your PSP, and it must be completely blank. OK, once it's, once it's blank, you can do this step, which is to copy the K-Exploit patcher folders onto your PSP slash game folder. So go into my computer, and then go onto remo removable disk, which is your PSP, Go to PSP, then go to Game. OK, now what you need to do is you need to go to back to the archive, you need to go to 1.5 only folder, then copy these two folders here onto your PSP game folder. So just highlight them and then drag and drop onto the PSP game folder, very quick, and then you have those two folders. Now what you'll need to do is go onto your PSP and run the program that's now put you on your PSP. OK, so press circle to come out of USB mode. And then press right until you get to game. And go down to memory stick and press X. Now you'll see a corrupted data icon. Go down and you'll see a K-Exploit permanent patcher icon. Now press X on the permanent patcher and it will run the program. I'll say this, it's a bit difficult to read, but it says This application will quickly flash a, p a few files in your PSP to permanently enable no K exploited eboots to run. And it says press X to do the patch, so press the X button, and it will be very quick and it will say patch successful, and it will reboot your PSP. Now we just want to go to USB mode again, so press left until you get to USB mode, press X, and you're now back in USB mode.